Hey guys, um, this one's called A Prayer for the Church, and this is number 20 in the series. It was given on 11 17 23. None of these words are mine. It sounds like I'm doing it, but it's just the Holy Spirit's words um, for us. Okay, so my soul rejoices in you, O Lord. Your magnificent plans bring us victory. We cannot be defeated by the evil one when we surrender our efforts to you. We come to you humbly and ask for your help. We compliantly surrender it all to you. You carry us. We are not with enough wisdom to know how to navigate what is to come, but you know it all and you can steer us through. Your mighty hand cannot be defeated. Your plans higher than our ways. We put our full trust in you. We know you have our best interest at heart. We will follow your lead. We will not fear at the sight of danger or the unseen brought to life. We will trust in every situation that you have us and hold our every detail in your hand. God, give us your peace as we say hopefully. Come Lord Jesus, come, bring us home. We crave to be home with you in heaven. We tire of this earth and ways man has run from you. We mourn at the sad state of the church, but we rejoice knowing that you will heal the church. The church will grow and function properly. The church will have proper use of the Holy Spirit and bring many to you. We will fully submit to your plans to help bring more to you. We love that we live in the time to be used in a mighty way by you, the Lord God Almighty. We are the last generation before the rapture. Help revive us to be motivated and to bring hope to many. Give us eyes to see people as you see them and ears to hear your directions. Give us the boldness to speak the gospel of truth to all who will listen. Lord, please bind evil, darkness, wickedness, and demons and spirits of any sort from us, our homes, and our families. Break any bonds and chains that have been set upon us. Please fuel your holy with your full power and take these bonded enemies off to the pit for eternity. Disallow them to harm or, or inhabit any humans or animals. Give your mighty angels full authority to fight on our behalf to keep us safe make miracles and care for us and and to guide us as needed may we all hear and obey the spirit as he guides so that we can all walk joyfully in the narrow path none left behind may we be found faithful singing your praises when jesus returns may we be seen as obedient when you look down from your heavenly throne to see whose hearts are pure Bring us to those who need us. Bind those who are harmful from us. Please grant us extreme wisdom for these extreme times. Thank you for loving us in this pivotal time for the church. May we be found bringing in your lost sheep until the day we fly. Please give us each day all we need. And help us to be grateful for all you provide. We love you, Lord. We ask all of these things in Jesus' holy name and in the power of his mighty blood. Cover us with your wing. Prepare our hearts. Amen. And there aren't any verses that go with this one. So um, that's it. See you next time.